Yep. Welcome. Welcome, one and all, to a two-part video today. And what I got for you in part one is based on a franchise that's been around since about 1993, I want to say. It's had a few games based on it. Yes, it has. I will not deny that. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, what I got for you today in part, what I got for you in part one, and this is a two-part video, by the way, is I got a trailer reaction to a new game based on a franchise that, like I said, it's been around since 1993. And I figured there's no sense of delaying and there's no sense of stalling. And I figured, you know what? Why don't I just go ahead and get it over with and, you know, um, you know, just do it, and get it over with and end all the suspense. So you may wonder, what is the first, what's the first video that he has? The first video I've got for you, as you can probably already read, is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Rita's Rewind announced trailer. And yes, this was announced at Summer Games Fest, in case you guys hadn't already heard about it. So, uh, I guess there's no sense in waiting, I guess. <laughs> so let's go, uh, well, uh, I don't know. Let's go check it out. I suppose. Let's see what it's about. Three. Two. One. And uh, let's go go. Hasbro Retro Arcade? So like it's in the style of the 1990s or something? I guess. Digital Eclipse. Nice. Go back to the beginning. I see. So, does this game have, like, the five originals? Or is there, like, a six who conveniently, um, you know, they left out for probably reasons of their own choosing, which I'm not going to get into. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Wait a minute. So is this game like... So in this game, do you basically take control of any of the five, any of the five original rangers? Hmm. I haven't thought about it. I didn't, I didn't think of that. Eh, whatever. That's okay. That's cool. Oh, yeah. In an all-new action game. In an all-new action game. Okay, that doesn't really tell us much. That tells us literally nothing, but... Eh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Doesn't really tell us much, but... That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, it is done the style. It is done like a... It's almost done in a 16-bit style. And all I gotta say is... Nice. It is nicely done. Yeah, it, 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 it is. It is. Wait. Madam Wool, wasn't that one of Rita's monsters? Stopping Rita, I see. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, that's her, then who's this? Is that her from Once and Always? 
or uh, whatever that special was that was on Netflix. What was that called again? Once and always, now and again. I can't, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, whatever. Ugh, whatever. That's fine. So wait, is this like? Uh oh, guys! I just re- I just realized I just realized something. I just realized something that might not be good. You know how in most time travel stories, you know, like, if you see yourself, it could cause damage to the, cause damage to the, to the timeline as we know it? Uh, how about the fact that Rita is actually seeing herself? So... Wouldn't this cause, like, I don't know, them both to start disappearing? Or am I, or or am I, or am I just thinking, or am I thinking of something else here? I might be, I might be thinking of something else. Whatever. It's only a matter of what? Oh, Goldar. Wait, wasn't Goldar like her... Like her um, servant or something, or or a guy who or a or a monkey who worked for her or something. I I don't know. It's only a matter of time. Really. Oh boy, you guys really. No, I. I distinctly remember that Goldar was a flying monkey. Um, I mean, a monkey that could actually that could fly, and he worked for Rita. So, would that technically make sense? I think. I don't know. Wait, okay, explain this, you guys. Explain this. Notice there are six... Notice there's six... There's like six um, roller coaster cars here. But notice only... Let's see. One, two... Wait. One, two, three. Three of them are occupied, yet... There's one, two, three... Four players currently playing. Okay, explain that. Okay, explain that. What's the matter? What's the matter, Goldar? Couldn't stand the fact that you know. You can't stand the fact that, basically. Rita's plans are are so convoluted and so confusing that I don't think they even make sense even to her. So wait, the, wait, a thought just occurred to me, and I could be wrong about this. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. And if I am, do correct me in the comments, okay? Do correct me in the comments if I get this wrong. But is this game mostly focused on, like, the first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? I could be. Could be. You know? Yeah. Wait, I guy? Wait, was that one of her monsters, or was that one of... Or is that one of Zed's monsters? No, I distinctly remember that. I think I remember I Guy being one of Rita's monsters, I think. If I remember right, I Guy was made by Finster, her monster maker? 
her monster maker and her scientist on, the, on her team? I think that's what he was. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I could be mistaken, guys. I could be mistaken. What the heck? Okay. Crabby Cabby? Wait. Wasn't Krabby Cabby like that like that monster that that took over like a cab or something? A taxi cab? Wait a minute. I don't remember Rita making that making that monster. If you guys know what if you, if that did happen, and you guys know what episode that was from, do let me know because I do not remember this this monster ever happening. And if it did, let me know if it was a Rita monster or a Lord Zed monster. I think it was a Lord Zed monster. I think. Maybe it, maybe it was a random monster, and I just don't remember that episode all that well. Because that episode was just so, like, uninspired or just, you know, just kind of boring or something. I don't know. Wait a minute. Okay, this is one thing I can call them out for, and I know that, and I know this this to be true. We didn't meet. We didn't, wait, wait, I must be thinking of a different character here, because, was it Rita's brother named Rito, Rito Revolto, and he was like a skeleton or something, and he wore like an army helmet on his head, if my memory, my memory serves me correctly, I think? Could be wrong though. Could be wrong though. Could be wrong. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah. So anyway. Anyway. Wait, did Rita actually make a monster called Bones? And if she did, or should I say, Finster did? What episode is he from? If any of you guys out there know what episode this monster is from, or anywhere, what what episode these monsters are from, let me know, because most of these episodes, I don't, I guess I don't really remember them all that well. I kind of remember some of these, but I guess I don't remember half of them as well as I thought I did. Yeah. But anyway, as far as the game itself, what what do I think of it? Not bad. Not bad. I just have one tiny little problem. I just have one tiny little problem with it. It's what format it's going to be on. That's the only problem. Or you're thinking like Xbox One or Xbox Series X or... Series S or something like that, right? Try again. <laughs> Even if it was going to be on PS4 or PS5, I would not have a problem with that. No. That's not the problem. The problem is what format it's going to be on. Just watch. You'll see. I guy? Wait a minute. Maybe my memory isn't maybe my memory isn't quite as sharp as it used to be, but wasn't I guy like one of Rita's like last monsters before before she was put that put back in that that dumpster that she was put that she got out of in the first episode? I think. I could be remembering that wrong. I could be remembering that wrong, you know? 
Eh, whatever. Whoa. Okay. Now before now before the reveal of what format this game's gonna be on, I want you guys to take a little guess. No, seriously, take a guess. What format do you think this game's gonna be on? PS4? PS5? Xbox Series S? Xbox Series X? Xbox One? Nintendo Switch? Try again. There's one you forgot, and yes, it's gonna be on that one. <laughs> there you go, people. That's my only problem right there. I don't know, maybe they'll port it over to other to other platforms as time goes on, but as of right now, you can wish list this game right now on Steam. So, uh, yeah, I said on Steam. Or whatever that service is that I don't know. So what did I think? What did I think of the trailer? Not bad. It's it's well done. Personally, I think it's very good. It it basically shows off what needs to be shown. And do I do I think the game do I think the game is horrible? Not at all. Matter of fact, if anything, I think the game is pretty darn good. Actually, game, honest to God, looks pretty cool. Again, this right here is the only thing that pisses me off right now. The fact that it's only going to be on Steam currently. And again, if they do port it over to like PS5, Nintendo Switch, you know, for, you know, formats like that. I mean, con I mean, platforms like that. Yeah, that might be something to, you know, find out if, find out how much it is. And, well, go from there. Yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope you did, <laughs> again, like the video. If there's any, if there's any other game shows you want me to check out, leave in the comments, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Share the video around, and subscribe for more of me in these videos you shall see. And until part two, let a fam squad. Okay. Okay, so now. Now for part two. Which I guess is not really a mystery now. So what it is, is the Shadow X... Sonic X Shadow Generations release date trailer for the Nintendo Switch. Yes, this game originally came out in 2010 on the Xbox 360, PS3, I think. Oh, well, eh, whatever. So I thought, you know, why don't I, why don't I just go check it out with you guys and see, where, and see where it leads to? Yeah. So I guess there's no sense of delay, so... Three, two, one, and here we go. Sweet. Yeah, and uh, guys, let's hope to God they actually get Classic Sonic to talk this time. Because if you guys remember the original game, Classic Sonic didn't talk. Every generation needs heroes. Well, that's true. Well, that is definitely true. Yeah. <laughs> and anti-heroes. Really. Wait. A thought just occurred to me. And maybe I'm wrong about this. But if Shadow's an anti-hero, wouldn't that technically make him a villain? 
think about it. If you're not the hero, you're the villain, right? You can't be in between. There is no in between in this case, right? Huh. That thought never really it never really occurred to me. But eh, whatever. Oh boy. Three hedgehogs. That's right. Classic Sonic, Modern Sonic, and Shadow. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Why is metal why is metal Sonic in this? <laughs> Way to go, classic Sonic, yeah. Two epic adventures? Really? Oh, sweet. Oh, this is sweet, everyone. Let's hope they, let's hope they realize they're people... I'm going to say this right now, right here and right now. I hope to God they took all the feedback from, from Sonic Generations and took all of it to heart when they made this, okay? Yeah, let's hope they did. Yeah, because some people even thought, you know... Yeah, why, why is there... Okay, what the heck? Why does Shadow have, like, wings growing out of his back? And wait, wait a minute. I just realized something. Isn't Shadow, like, the ultimate life form? Eh, whatever. Well, there you go, people. Sonic X Shadow Generations available October 25th on the Nintendo Switch and other formats, too. Wait, is this game also going to be on PS5, PS4, and on the Xbox, whatever the current one is? I think. Oh, God. Seeing that logo again. Oh, that logo is... That logo is good. Yep. So. What did I think of the trailer? I liked it. I loved it. It was awesome. I have no complaints about it. And now we finally know the release date of Sonic X Shadow generations October 25th probably come out probably coming out on PS4 PS5 Xbox Series X or S or whatever the current one is Nintendo Switch all those formats you know so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video and I really hope you did uh, maybe consider, you know, liking the video, leave a comment, and if there's a game trailer you want me to react to, I'll get to it just as soon as I can, and sh please feel free to share the video around. Oh, and if you guys want to download this reaction and uh, re-upload it to your channel, or any reactions you guys see on the channel, go right ahead, I don't care and if you guys want to react to you know react to this video no i mean react to to this reaction video maybe point out some things i miss maybe go ahead and do so i don't care so yeah oh and uh one one last thing guys one last thing and it's the most obvious of all and guys Please click that bell, you know, to be notified for future videos, of course. And also go check out the original video on the Nintendo of America YouTube channel. Remember, it's called the Sonic 
X Shadow Generations release date trailer Nintendo Switch, okay? And do not forget to subscribe for more of me and more of these videos you may see. And until then, guys. Later. Later.